Hey there, my name's Angela and I'm the Inquisitive Farm Wife. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am so glad you're here in the kitchen with me today because we're gonna do an experiment. I love to do experiments in the kitchen and why not take my friends along with me too? This video is going to be part of freeze dry February, 2024. If you have not seen the videos previously, you have got to go check that out. I'm gonna have a playlist in the link below. I'm your host and I'm excited to share with you all things freeze drying with all my YouTube friends. You have until the 6th of March at 6 p.m. when I do the drawing for all these fantastic prizes. If you don't know what that is, I'll have a link for that video below. We have four amazing companies sponsoring us in addition to so many of the YouTube collaborators joining in and gifting prizes too. So lots of people get to win lots of amazing gifts. If you want to be a part of that, make sure that you go watch the videos, make those comments and see me at the live. I got news that my granddaughter is coming to visit. <laughs> I love my grandbaby. She's the best. I know all of us grandparents think all of our babies are the best. And we just try to do everything we can to make their life as special as possible. I've had a request. Please, mom, can you make your granddaughter some of those baby puffs? You know, those yogurt puffs that you can buy in the store? She's crazy over them. Well, I looked around with some ingredients I had on hand. This is a project I've wanted to do for a very long time. And I thought they're gonna be here tomorrow. So I've got to get this done today. So because I've never done this before, it is going to be an experiment that we're going to do together. But I have done my research and I've seen other people do some experimentation with this also. Many people suggest using a Greek yogurt. Well, I happen to have a big old tub of indulgent Greek lemon flavored yogurt. I got this at Aldi's. I did a little research and I see that they've put pectin in here. That is what you use in jams and jellies. So it kind of makes things more firm. It's not your old fashioned type of typical Greek yogurt. If you're gonna make your own yogurt, you would actually drain it like you would a cheese and get all the way out of it that way. But this is what we have, so this is what we're going to use. So I'm excited to have this. Seen people use gelatin or things like that to firm up regular yogurts, and I think that's a fantastic idea, but with there being pectin in there already, I kind of feel like it already has that. And I decided, I think I wanna try some pudding. So I think we're going to do a little experimenting. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to start by taking half the amount of milk that, um, half the amount of milk that the pudding recipe would call for, because I kind of want a little bit more of a stiff, uh, structure. You never know with this can stuff. So I just want to make sure, and I'm just going to run it through a strainer. And then I have a box of lemon, since this is a lemon yogurt, I have a box of lemon pudding that I had gotten on a clearance deal a while back, because that's how I shop around here. If I get a sale, I stock up. I'm gonna grab my whisk here. That lid works perfect for me to have something to put my spoon on. And we're just gonna whisk this all together. It's already starting to make a pudding. That is nice and thick. We may end up deciding after this sits for a little bit to go ahead and use the full two cups. I think we should. I'll be back. I'm gonna add one more cup of the same exact thing into the bowl and then I'll be back. I imagine that you're probably wondering why use the shelf stable milk versus fresh milk? Two reasons. One, my daughter prefers that I use pasteurized milk with her daughter and I don't have any on hand. I use raw cow's milk. And so if it was for myself, I would probably just use that, but I am trying to respect her wishes. And the other reason is sometimes they're a little more condensed and I don't know if maybe that might react a little bit better on something I want a firmer texture on. So those are my two reasons. This looks a lot more like a pudding that I'm used to. 
I may like this this decision and I may regret it, but this is what we did. And now I'm gonna take just our plain, I'm gonna take our yogurt and I'm gonna put it in a piping decorating bag. We're just gonna snip the tip And I have chosen a tip that is small and that will make a cute little decorative piece. I'm sure hoping that this works because I think that this is going to be fun. So now that I have this ready, my trick when I do cookie or cake decorating or whatever, I put my bag in a cup and it just makes it easier. Now, this yogurt is white. If you wanted, you could most definitely add some yellow food coloring and that could, you know, um, just make it pop. But since it's for my grandbaby, I think we'll go ahead and leave one of those extra ingredients out. If grandma, would have thought ahead of time, I probably would have made my own yogurt to try to experiment with too. But now we will have a store-bought option and maybe I can do homemade another day. So what I've done here is I've got about half of the yogurt and we're gonna set that aside and I'm gonna get one of my trays ready. These are just my freeze dry trays. And I just love these. So one of our sponsors, Brian over at Retired at 40, he has a YouTube channel. I'll try to remember to link it down and I'll definitely link his store freeze drying supplies. He has been a supporter of this collaboration since I, it was first an idea in my head. And this is one of the favorite things. He has many things on his website but this is something that I love using. These pre-cut parchments save me so much time and frustration, and you can get them in all sizes. So now that my parchment is down, I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun here and take my plain yogurt. Well, it's not plain yogurt, but my simply yogurt, I guess. And I am gonna start making little dollops of yogurt yumminess on these trays. I do not anticipate them to expand, and so I'm gonna be able to put them pretty close together. I'll bring you in so you can see what I'm doing. I will tell you, if I would have had a little more time to plan, I wouldn't do just four trays. I would do this and freeze up a whole bunch of it and have a bag full of frozen little dollops and put oh, several of them on one tray to save space. You can actually even take the parchment and put in between each layer. And I might be able to do that too, but it will squish your little yogurt bits down. I got my first tray over here and I actually had almost two trays more. Next, for fun, we're gonna do just pudding. Just to see what happens, I'm gonna pour about half of this mixture in there. I'm probably wishing at this point, cause it's not very solid now. I'm kind of regretting having added that extra milk, but it is what it is, as they say. We will see what happens. I'm not sure that it's gonna pipe as nicely. I'm afraid it's gonna make a mess. I'm gonna try and see what happens. A quick solution would be to just grab another bag or another box of pudding, which I easily can do because I happen to have some. But I'm gonna try to go ahead and see what happens here. 
Well, I'm kind of getting round blobs. They're not pretty, but they're staying formed enough together that I think that they'll be okay. I think they'll still make delicious bites for the kiddos or adults. They just aren't going to have that pretty little design. I think these would be perfect for snacks, for backpacking, kayaking, camping. I'm thinking all sorts of outdoor activities because these are gonna be light and they should travel well. Have you guessed what I might be doing next? I'm gonna mix the two and see what that does, if it changes consistency, if it works better or worse. Because, you know, you have to have variables when you're experimenting, right? We have pudding, we have yogurt, and now we have hogurt. Not sure what you should call this. Um, yudding. <laughs> but I'm going to give this a quick little whisk. And although this did make this quite a bit lighter, I really feel we're going to easily be able to tell the difference between the three, but we can always label our pans. And I think we'll end up with two trays of this because of the amount that we're using. And then any extras grandma has going back here so that we can get some in the deep freeze so I can do another load another day. Maybe I'll even start saving up and doing different flavors on occasion. Like if I have a partial yogurt that's Greek, if that works, I'll know what to do next. But this isn't gonna get wasted because even in the frozen state, it could be a lovely treat for grandbaby. Again, I think that the yogurt works best to make the design. The more I do these, the taller I can get them, and I think you can get more in that way. This is super quick and super easy. I had a little extra, so I went ahead and kind of filled in. I hope that doesn't bleed over, but the color difference should show easily what's going on here. And then my second set of trays is full with more too. You probably hear the noise in the background, but when I got to the last bit, I went ahead and turned my freeze dryer on so it could pre-freeze. Ideally, all these trays would have been frozen. I would have been able to freeze dry them all at once, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So I'm gonna put lids on those, stick those in the deep freeze, and get these started now. If you don't wanna take the time to pipe them or you'd like to have bigger bites, they have molds. I got these at Walmart. You can find them on Amazon, all kinds of places, probably even the Dollar Tree. And you could just fill the molds, scrape them off, freeze them, and then put them in your freeze dryer. We're over here at the freeze dryer and it tells us that it's been 15 minutes. I grabbed my tray covers. We're gonna take those over and bring back the full trays. Our little white stars with a few of the mixed puddings. We did those first, so we'll put those on top. And then we have our pudding bites with the mixed pudding. Put those on bottom. And then here in the middle, I'm gonna put the mixed bites. Close my drain valve. Push continue. And now my machine is gonna do the rest of the work while I get those others put in the deep freeze for another day. I'll see you back whenever they're done. Freezer time. We're back here at the freeze dryer. It has been a few days. 
I've got to be transparent with you. My machine threw an error with just a little bit of troubleshooting and the farmer helping me. I was able to get it back up and running again and now the yogurt and pudding bites are ready to come out of the machine. I'll meet you in the kitchen and we'll talk a little bit more. Well, because I had to put my yogurt bites back in the freezer while we did our troubleshooting, I went ahead and took the layer off of the other tray and put it on top this tray. All of them except this one, I was able to just transfer them over really easily. That way I was able to get more yogurt bites in with just one run. We're gonna go ahead and take our little thermometer here and I'm just checking to make sure there are no cold spots, which I don't anticipate there are because I ended up letting this go um, 10 hours in extra dry time because I was busy doing other things today and I always figure extra dry time is not a bad thing. And they're good. No cold spots. So I think I'm still going to be able to tell the three different kinds of heart. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and I'm going to go through these trays and we're going to try to separate the different flavors. It's really not a have to kind of thing. We'll eat them no matter what. And they're just for us. That's why I can use my clean hands. But I think I'll go ahead and try to separate. You can kind of tell by color. And then that way we know what we like better. So the rest of this entire tray here is all just yogurt. So we'll put the just yogurt in this tub. And let me tell you, they are light as a feather, super fluffy. But while I've got you here, I think we should do a taste test. Let's do one that's just yogurt. Oh my. Well, that was unreal. I don't know what I was expecting. The lemon flavor comes afterwards. Hmm. Now let's try one that is a mix. It's more crunchy. I think I like the mix better. How about just the pudding? Even crunchier. And it definitely has a pudding aftertaste. If you want to know my favorite, I'm going to go with the one that has a mix of both. I hope that before this video comes out, I can let my grandbaby do her taste test too. I wanted to bring you in for a closer look so that you could see these. This is a tray of the mixed. They're fluffy, but they're just really not any texture. They're just little dollops, which are perfectly edible. They kind of remind me of those candies um, that you used to get on a strip that were dots. I don't even know what they were called. And then check out the Just Yogurt ones. They kind of kept a better shape. And they, with the tip I used, the decorating tip. So those are fun. And then the pudding only. Unfortunately, this kind of got stuck together. But they were definitely more flat and more yellow. Now let's package these up. Typically something like this, I would be putting in a Mylar, or I would be putting in a jar. 
But I think that putting them in some baggies and sealing them, I do think I'll put a few in jars. It's gonna work better if I use a funnel. Go over to the preservation station. So you can see it has the double seal and we have gently vacuum sealed this. So all we did is we turned it down so that we could get a gentle vacuum, but you can see the air is still out, but it did not crush these extremely fragile items, but they'll be nice and fresh for whenever grandbaby comes to visit. I cannot wait for her to try them. Thank you so much for coming along on this journey with me. I am so glad that you were here today.